పిసు వచ్చిన సైంటిఫిక్ డైరెక్టర్ విత్ జీవా ఫర్టిలిటీ సెంటర్స్ వాట్ ఈస్ డిమినిష్డ్ ఓవేరియన్ రిజర్వ్ అండ్ కెన్ యూ స్టిల్ గెట్ ప్రెగ్నెంట్ ఇఫ్ యూ హ్యావ్ very low ovarian reserve diminished ovarian reserve is when you have fewer eggs in your ovaries compared to people your age it is sometimes called as low egg count or low ovarian reserve your eggs are the building blocks along with sperm for pregnancy your egg count will decrease as you age but this happens sooner than expected for some people diminished ovarian reserve makes it harder to get pregnant and your clinician diagnoses low ovarian reserve with ovarian reserve testing but just because you have diminished ovarian reserve doesn't mean you can't get pregnant it means you may find getting pregnant more difficult or need to consider fertility treatments so how many eggs should you have women are born with all the eggs they'll ever produce so it means to say that your age is the strongest predictor of your egg quality studies show that the rate of egg loss increases once you turn 35 the actual numbers vary from person to person let's look at the average number of eggs you'll have throughout your life at birth you have 1 to 2 million eggs by puberty about 3 lakh to 4 lakh eggs by age 40 you have 25000 eggs only and at menopause less than 1000 eggs only your clinician can tell you how many eggs they think you have based on ovarian reserve testing results so let's look at the reasons for diminished ovarian reserve aging is one of the biggest causes of low ovarian reserve however sometimes there is no cause other times genetic or medical treatments may cause diminished ovarian reserve let's look at the causes genetic disorders that affect the x chromosome there could be radiation or chemotherapy in cancer treatment having surgery on both your ovaries or losing one or both of your ovaries autoimmune conditions these are some of the causes of diminished ovary reserve can stress cause this problem well no stress cannot cause diminished ovary reserve and according to american society of reproductive medicine smoking and using tobacco are the only lifestyle factors associated with decreased ovarian reserve or less eggs in your ovaries so how is it diagnosed blood tests to measure the levels of amh or anti mullerian hormone or fsh follicle stimulating hormone and estradiol are very important these tests measure how well you may respond to ovarian stimulation or fertility medications and they also give us an indication about the functioning of your whole reproductive system vaginal ultrasound to measure ovarian volume and count the number of follicles in your ovaries is also a good idea this is called as antral follicle count how is it treated well there is no way to reverse diminished ovarian reserve or produce more eggs once your clinician suspects that you have low ovarian reserve they'll work with you on a treatment plan that helps you reach your pregnancy goals this treatment plan will be determined by how soon you would like to get pregnant how many children you would like to have finances and the strength of your desire to have a child which is genetically related to you treatment options may include freezing your eggs for later use attempting to conceive naturally or undergoing ivf with your own eggs or donor eggs so these are basically the treatment options there is something called as embryo pooling also where eggs from each cycle are retrieved embryos are made and they are frozen once we have a substantial number that is two or three embryos these embryos are then transferred for for a pregnancy so there are treatment options definitely and when options that include your own eggs don't work donor eggs are recommended based on your preference the treatment option includes ivf along with your partner's sperm if you want to understand more about this please feel free to contact us thank you a lot of effort has gone into making this video please like and subscribe us thank you